So hello everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Cliff Stevenson. I am the principal analyst for talent acquisition and workforce management at Brain Hall Group. I'm joined today by Nick Hutchinson, who's the head of talent acquisition over at Saba. Hello, Nick. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Very well. And, great. and we've been talking today. There's a whole series, if you want to listen to us uh, expound on any other issues. And we've been talking about candidate experience. And, you know, we've talked about a few things, uh, talked about a few things today. And one of them has been on, you know, recruiting internally. And I want to kind of go further, further on that and specifically talk about people that are already in the organization, because it seems sort of pointless to expound all this effort onto creating a top level candidate experience just to lose people once they're in the organization. So let's talk a little bit today, Nick, about keeping people in the organization once they're there, right? Retaining the talent that you have. You've got these high performers. What can you do to keep them on to make sure that you retain these great employees and make sure they have opportunities within the organization to, you know, sort of expand who they are and their their own skills. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, um, you yeah, know, what's really important, Cliff, as well, is to think about this as before they become an employee as well. Um, of course, we want to retain that talent once they're on board, um, but we, we can start doing that as soon as they become applicants, um, start communicating regularly in the right way. Um, and once we get that offer, um, I think in recruitment, you see it time and time again. We engage with candidates. Um, we create a great experience. They have an offer um, and they accept that offer and then everything stops. So they, you know, they might be working a month, two months, three months notice period. And a lot of organizations will drop off the communication because they think, right, it's great. We've got them hired. They stop communicating with them, right? But that's a no. That's a big, big mistake. And actually, I strongly believe that that's when the engagement level should actually increase. Um, because let's think about it, right? They're, they're happy now. Um, they're contented. They've secured the role that they wanted. But their current employer is saying, actually, we don't want you to leave. Um, you're a really, really good employee. Um, we're going to offer you more money or, you know, what's wrong? What can we do to convince you to stay? And at the same time, they're going to have other agencies or other recruiters knocking on their door, um, really trying to tempt them into other roles. So I think it's key that once we get that person offered, we start to engage them in our organization as how we would expect to engage with them once they're employees as well. So starting to drip feed learning content out to them, interactive videos, um, really nice onboarding experiences and, and making it an experience. So rather than just a process, um, they're starting to get a real feel for the organization which they're about to join. Um, so, so on day one, when they come to you, they're ready, they're engaged, they're ready to start work. They've done a lot of learning. Um, they've communicated well with their manager and we're getting ready as stage one in order to be able to keep that person in the organization. And then we need to continue that. So, you know, using the same software as well, we can continue to build out those regular check-in processes, those regular one-to-ones, um, being able to enable those individuals to learn on demand. So, and learn on demand in a cool and exciting way and, and allow them to expand and grow their skills within the company. Um, because they're going to want to do that pretty quick. Um, you know, they say it takes around about six months for somebody to start feel, feeling comfortable in an organization, which when you think about it, is quite a long time, right? So those, those first six months are, are really, really key. Um, you've made an investment in that individual. You spent a lot of money to recruit and hire them. Um, and then once they're in the company, it's important that you are hiring managers, uh, well, no longer hiring managers, let's just call them managers. Um, they coach and engage that individual. They work with them. They plan their goal. Uh, sorry, they plan that individual's goals and, and really talk to that individual about what's in the organization for them, what route their career can take. And 
what we do here in Saba is we recognise and reward people a lot. And I don't mean that necessarily the manager recognising an award, but co-workers. So we have a really cool feature where we can, um, if we're pleased or somebody helps us out or somebody just goes a little bit above the usual, um, we can give them an award uh, visually within the software. We can write why uh, the manager and the team get notified of that. And it's it's quite a small thing, but you know what, Cliff, it's actually really cool when somebody does that. Um, it makes you feel really, really happy. But I think, you know, going back to the question, what's key here is to retain your talent once they're on board in your organisation, you need to do everything you can to make sure that individual is happy within your company. And if that individual is happy, um, they're being recognised and rewarded, they're being coached and engaged, then they're going to stay with your organisation and they're going to grow in your organisation. They're going to promote into your organisation and they're going to refer other really good talent into your organisation as well. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're the key messages from myself, really. Yeah, I love that idea of you know, recognizing people, getting them involved very early on. I think that it's, we can get trapped into these old 30, 60, 90 day, or not even 30 or 60, you know, we'll yeah. a lot of people get in this 90 day sort of mindset uh, just because that's sort of the way things have traditionally been done and don't realize hey, there's a lot of impact to be made. Like you said, you know, before even the, or right after the offer has been made, before your first day, right after you started first day, first week. Those are extremely uh, impactful points. Uh, yeah, we'll and really, so. yeah, exactly. And really important points as well. You know, on, on that overall timeline, um, really that first um, prior to them joining, but then that first six months that they've joined the company is an absolutely key time. And let's face it, you know, that's when most people will leave an organization. Um, if they're with you for, for six months and the experience has been good and everything is going to plan, then, you know, you're likely to get your investment and that individual is likely to work with you for a number of years. Um, so it's a, it's a real critical point um, around getting that hiring um, pre-board and on-board experience right. And really, you know, I hate to use the cliche, we're all using this term a lot, but hire till retire. And I, I strongly believe that if you can get the recruitment uh, pre-board and on-board right, then that individual can really become an asset to your organization and you're able to hang on to that talent. Yes, uh, exactly right. And we've seen some data that shows that too. Uh, th this one is actually not from our candidate experience survey, but uh, rather from our impact of strategic onboarding survey that we did this year. And we looked at the most desired area for organizations to improve their onboarding, you know, where they thought, you know, that they needed to improve. And they said it was in their new higher experience. And it's, uh, I have to look this up. Up uh, 49% of companies uh, said that, you know, that was the area. And that was more important than, say, collaboration or even time proficiency because it has such an impact, like you just said. And I think that that's a good place to wrap up this audio blog. Uh, as mentioned at the beginning uh, of this recording, this is part of a series. Uh, we also cover uh, candidate experience as part of the whole employee journey, uh, the internal candidate experience, and the top priorities organizations looking for in technology related to candidate experience. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Nick, as well. And we'll talk again soon.